Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Economic Week Ahead, brought to you by Business Day in conjunction with the Movement Studio. My name is Eniola Olatunji, and with me is my colleague, Wasiu Ali. Last week, we held the CEO's forum. Mm. My God, it was the talk of the town. Yes. We had all of our speakers present and live. And guess what? Caruso was around. <laughs> it was it was interesting. Even even some of the, um, the, the CBN, former CBN governor of uh, Kenya was also around. Patrick yeah. Kingeri, right? Everybody. Everybody. Everyone was, was, was the talk there. Of the town. And something stood out for me last week was when the CBN governor said that between February and May, inflation had decreased by almost 50% month on month. But unfortunately, unfortunately now, <laughs> the inflation report today shows that inflation had ticked higher. Yes. So inflation report and the National Bureau of Statistics released the inflation report for June. And guess what? It, it ticked up higher by a couple of percent to 34.19%. Percent. And that's not even surprising because we've seen the year-on-year -year inflation increase every month. But this month, for the first time in about three months, mm -hmm. we saw month-on-month -month inflation increase by 0.17%. And that's surprising because we've seen it decrease and we begin to jubilate mm -hmm. that, oh, calm is coming to our inflation. But, Just, uh, but I think uh, what one of the things that would have fueled inflation is mm -hmm. the spike in food prices because... Yeah, uh, food prices are still up. Um, you look at beans, you look at rice, you look at curry, and food prices really needs to be addressed. And um, despite like the monetary side doing all it can to tame inflation, mm. some of the things, most of the things it's doing can't address food prices. Yeah, of course. And that's why the fiscal needs, side yes, the fiscal needs side to complement the effort of the CBN. Yeah, so that at least it's um, the work of the CBN would show it to show that mm -hmm. they've been doing a lot to mm -hmm. actually tame because, it. Uh, the CBN has, has set a target to tame inflation and to rein inflation to 21% by the end of the year, right? Yeah. But of course, uh, with this trajectory, we just we just can hope that uh, that 21% projection will come to realization. My biggest fear now is that will the monetary policy committee will be Yes, there will we'll be another meeting this month, and we did hike in inflation. Uh -huh. There will be a likely, likely would, um, for for a rate hike a again. Rate hike again. Oh. <laughs> that would be, be very, very, very. It would be a pain in for a lot of businesses. Uh -huh, but yeah. moving away from Nigeria, the UK will be releasing its June inflation report mm -hmm. on Thursday too. Now in April and May, the UK has experienced a decline in its inflation figures. And in May, it hit 2%. The last time the UK saw its inflation in 2% was in 2021. And 2% is its target inflation yes, that's rate. Target. So I'm sure the UK must be jubilating right now because they've done a lot, like every mm -hmm. other country across mm -hmm. the world, in trying to rein in their inflation. So this month, we expect that the inflation would also remain, remain at 2%, 2% or mm -hmm. maybe, maybe slightly lesser than 2%. Okay. But we really hope for the best for them <laughs> while we battle with ours. Yes, well, while we battle with ours. <laughs> while we battle our with ours. Our own projection is 21%, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, so away from um, inflation now, um, the National Bureau of Statistics will be releasing the price watch for petrol, that's premium motor spirit, mm -hmm. for the month of June. Yeah. Um, MBS said that petrol had surged by 23% in one year. And so that means that That's uh, a lot to uh, Nigerians are groaning, are going through a lot, you know, for, for, for a country where our major means of transportation is through car and, Cars, they, use and they use fuel. So that means that um, um, the burden will be passed on the on the, on yes, the, on in the people. Every way. Like, so the average <laughs> the average retail price of fall for last month for for May was six hundred and seventy nine naira. Wow. But for, for some places you see petrol for eight hundred naira per litre. In fact in some places you <laughs> see nine hundred per litre. But let's just hope that the, the average price for the uh, June for it, June. We, we I don't think it we would be you lesser don't think because it would be lesser. <laughs> we, because of what happened, because of the scarcity. Of course, a lot yes. of people were buying above seven hundred, mm -hmm. seven sixty. Um away from petrol, mm. the debt management office will also be released, will also be auctioning three hundred billion worth of federal government bonds. Mm. Now, this is across three tranches. The, it's reopening the five-year tranche, the seven-year tranche, and the nine-year tranche. And at the last auction in June, we saw a decline in subscription. And why, why is the case? Why, mm. is the, why was the case like that? It was because 
There was also um, there was an treasury auction, bill. a treasury bill auction last week. Last week, yeah. And we saw yields go as far as twenty seven percent, and bonds they are offering between twenty between nineteen to twenty percent. I mean, as an investor, one will want to lock in for a shorter time shorter, yeah. and for more yields. Mm -hmm. So more, we see more investors going to treasury bills than the bond market. So we, you might still see. Yeah, you can understand their sentiment. Yes, actually, one will understand investors' investors. Their sentiment. Mm -hmm. So analysts project that at today's auction, there might also be low subscription. Um, to for more information on the results of the auction, you can check on our website later today. So away from bond and treasury, and bill treasury and all bills. Of that. So let's look at what the, Naira, uh, the Naira. what the Naira is doing. Recently, the Naira has been you know moving towards 1,560 Naira, 1,530 Naira. Naira. But within that range of 1,500, actually, because you can you can see some sort of calmness in yes, the Naira. Yes, the CBN didn't lie when it said that we've seen the worst of volatility. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, like the Naira has been relatively stable for the past weeks. Although it's higher now, but it has been relatively stable. And and I, and I think that's that's what a lot of people, a lot of businesses want. Mm -hmm, stability. That's stability. They, they uh, just and I think that, that, that is, um, um, we can give credit to the 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 effect the FX reserve because yes, the FX reserve now yes. is uh, it's I alongside think with, a, a, yes, a high. alongside with the stability in the Naira we've mm -hmm. seen the FX reserve grow to new highs mm -hmm. so in the past week we've seen the reserve go to like six months high but one last week I. it it's one year high yeah. the last time the FX reserve was in the that, thirty five trillion that. range was May thirty last year mm. and this is this like this go hand in hand in it, it in, gives it, it gives the firepower yes, to the naira. Yes, like yeah. once there's inflow, then we see stability in the mm. naira. And um, the CBN also spoke about it when it uh, yeah, when it was, ad when it was, when it was addressing mm -hmm. the people at the event last week, and he said that there is more inflow. So I mean, he really reiterated that we've seen the worst of. Yeah, it was it was just so reassuring, and we just yeah. hope that this whole thing, um, the naira, see some sort of uh, gains and all of that. So because we can't. We can't. We won't lie to the fact that if Nera is not, um, you know, seeing some sort of appreciation, businesses will, you know, go down. Yes, businesses. You know, businesses are the are the receiving end of and all investors of too. So yes, let's just hope that the Nera sees some sort of rebound uh, subsequently. Mm -hmm. uh, so that will be it, right? Yes. Okay. So for more in-depth analysis on our stories, you can visit our website at www.business.ng and follow us on all social media platforms at Business Engine. My name still remains Wasiu Ali. And I am Enyola Olatsi.